RNG, the acronym you love to hate. Roll it. Welcome back, window lickers. Have you licked any double glazed windows lately? As my friend Captain America would say in the comments. Speaking of comments, here's a nice one I received from Gabriel Villanueva. He says, I ran Voss yesterday with some guys from my guild and you. I honestly can say that you were a true player that despite we failing like noobs, you kept around and showed lots of patience and even took time teaching us some valuable stuff about fighting the bosses. Glad you were there. Keep it up and thanks for coming back. And to you, my friend, all I can say, it's always a pleasure to help out. I don't swear and degrade people and then kick them from groups like some people I know. Why don't you do something with your life? <laughs> Sit around here all day. You contribute nothing to society. You're just taking up space. Those who abuse players verbally and then kick them because they are performing are losers and I couldn't care less who you are. If you are doing that exact same thing, then you're a loser too. And there are 176 definitions for the word loser on urbandictionary.com. So you can go check it out for yourself. Don't be a statistic. Anyways, let me say a quick thank you to all my channel members. You guys and girls are completely awesome. And of course, please like and sub to my channel if you haven't already and you enjoy my content. So should RNG be removed from Neverwinter? Before we answer that question, let's first explain what RNG actually is. RNG stands for Random Number Generator, and it is an algorithm that produces random numbers. In video games, these numbers are used to determine random events, like your chance at a mythic mount in a lockbox or a drop of a rare item. That's what RNG is. But is it a good thing or a bad thing? Well, to be completely honest, it can be a really good thing and a really bad thing. It all depends on how RNG is implemented and why it's needed in the first place. Example. If you are getting stuck in your progression due to RNG, then it obviously sucks the big one. Spending all your valuable time grinding just to let RNG dictate when and how you will progress is not exactly a fun concept for a gamer. You literally put in the work. Let Lady Luck or Lady RNG decide when you are allowed to move forward and progress. It is in fact out of your control. And the only thing you can control is when you will uninstall the game or how much time you will invest into grinding. Progression, in my opinion, should never have RNG walls. There should always be a different path to achieving your goals without relying on RNG. I think Cryptic or Neverwinter has lost track of what RNG actually was meant for. RNG is supposed to add excitement to a game. Randomness is what keeps things from becoming monotonous. It's what leads to curiosity and risk. And it's one of the best tools to keep a game fresh. RNG mechanics have been around just as long as games themselves. The problem is RNG being used to artificially extend gameplay or persuade you to purchase things off the market, or even invest into loot boxes, aka lockboxes, or just pulling money out of your wallet or credit card. And that shouldn't be the main goal for RNG to exist. There are far better ways to implement RNG. How do you make the no-lifers and casuals both happy at the same time? And I think maybe that's where the problem is and should be addressed. If the outcome or success of an action is determined by chance, like rolling a die, then it's criticized because it takes the outcome away from the player's actions and choices and makes it completely random. People criticize it because it's unpredictable. When the results are unfavorable, people will complain. When it's favorable, people will praise the RNG gods. We need to keep in mind that video games are shockingly good at activating reward pathways in the brain. The action, achievement, reward, action loop leads to feelings of accomplishment, euphoria, excitement, and victory. Sudden rush of excitement when you're fighting a main boss is adrenaline. The gratifying feeling after you beat him is serotonin. And the sense of reward when you claim the loot is dopamine. Those are all valid feelings that you can get from RNG. Just the right amount of RNG gives you a lot of variation. It surprises you. It also gives you a better experience while you constantly have a feeling that you are the captain of your experience. So what is the right amount of RNG? Well, in regards to the game we play, Neverwinter, RNG should only be used if there is an additional way to achieve your goals or get the item you are looking for. Most recent example we can use as far as RNG goes is the Band of Air. There was only one way to get the reagents to create the Band of Air and that was from a random drop from mini bosses in Hardcore Voss. There was no other way or road you could take to get that specific item, which means that player who really wanted that ring, since it was absolutely best as thought at the time, had no control over when or how they would get it. It was absolutely RNG blocked. The only control that they did have was how many times they can run Hardcore Voss any given day, and the rest was up to RNGesus, which means a lot of angry and frustrated players were in Hardcore Voss every day for months. Now what they could have done to make it even more exciting Exciting is have a set goal you need to achieve to get the ring automatically. Example, complete 200 hardcore boss runs and you can buy the ring from a vendor. 
just like in Tower of the Mad Mage or Zeriel, where you had to gather scrolls after completions, and when you reach a specific amount of getting those scrolls and completions, you didn't have to wait for RNG to drop your weapons anymore. You could simply go to the vendor and buy it since you earned it. And this is where RNG could shine as well. Because if a player had a set goal that he needs to reach to get his ring and also had RNG available, he still had a chance to get what he needs from RNG and save him time from grinding. And this is how RNG should be used. RNG should always have a chance to give you the item or thing that you want while you're already grinding a different path to getting that item in the first place. It's like an extra layer of excitement. You know, the feeling of, I need 50 more completions to get my ring. But if it drops from a boss, I'm gonna fucking lose my shit. Every item in the game, every goal in the game, and everything you need to accomplish in the game should be achievable and absolutely doable with set goals just like in Ancient Dragons. Now, Ancient Dragons got it absolutely right, and that's why I loved them. You were the captain of your experience and the captain of your goals. RNG did not decide when you got your gear. You decided. But imagine if they also added a small chance to get their gear to drop from actual dragons too. Now that would be even more exciting. Am I right? Or am I right? And I do think there are places where RNG is a genuine part of the mechanism of the game. That when used appropriately, it can add variety and depth to our gaming experience. But I also think there are other places where it serves no good purpose and just contributes to frustration, burnout, and feeds the perception of pay to win, since some folks will see it as spending real life money as the only way to achieve their goals in the time they feel reasonable. I recognize that finding the right balance for RNG parameters is extremely challenging. Personally, I think the lowest chance should be 5%, which would equate to rolling a 20 on a d20, which is the foundation of all versions of D&D anyways. Should RNG be removed from the game? The answer is no, it shouldn't be removed from the game. It does need to be looked at and implemented in a better way. Relying on RNG is a bad thing. RNG should only be there to give you excitement even on the off chance that you're going to get a drop. And progression should never be blocked by RNG. RNG should play absolutely no role in your overall progression in the game, period. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Do you agree or do you disagree? Or do you have any other ideas of how they can implement RNG? Or do you want to just remove it completely? Let me know. Galactic here. Peace out. Stay safe. Me and me